Just because it's summer doesn't mean it's time to turn off our brains. Places like the Plymouth Public Library have plenty of ways to keep learning. We have lots of different stuff going on this summer. Um, Tuesday evenings and Thursday mornings we're running, it's called Tech Time. Tuesday evenings ages 8 and up can explore all kinds of different tech uh, toys and games and programs. We have some engineering challenges they can complete. One of our most popular programs we have here at the library for our littlest patrons is called Wonder Babies. It is a program that helps with socialization with both the kids and it's also for the parents. So you can kind of get to know some other parents in this area that have children your same ages. These programs serve a variety of purposes. The biggest one is summer slide, of course. Um, if you don't keep up your skills, then you start the next school year behind where you left off the previous school year. Um, so, you know, making sure that your brain is still active and engaged and learning new things, making sure that you don't atrophy <laughs> over the summer is really super important. It helps them to kind of stay in that um, forever learning mode so that they can realize that learning doesn't have to be in a classroom, that, but it can be other places as well and that they can learn no matter where they are. It helps with um, future participation in school and getting to know their peers and learning to share and just kind of some basic social interactions that we want them to go to preschool with. Even adults get to take part in different educational programs and activities. During the summer we have that theme of you know a universe of stories so we've done some really great things with um, Planet Mobiles, um, doing Galaxy in a Jar, doing some galaxy art, trying to bring in that theme of um, the Apollo, uh, the, the missions, and um, just having that galaxy idea. And I, I think incorporating some of the fun things that, that we all know, whether it's Star Wars, Star Trek, um, you know, the universe. And there's plenty families can come in and do together. We've done DIY classes where they can learn, you know, painting, they can learn how to do special special activities. We've had a fun thing with the teas. We had a, a galaxy tea where it, it incorporated not just the adult, adults but kids so that they could come and as a family enjoy, you know, like uh, Star Wars Monopoly and then making moon pies. One of the best parts is that all the programs are free. There is no sign up. It's just a drop in class. You can come and go as you please. So if the kids only want to like participate in a few activities and then go out and read a couple books with their parents in a different section of the children's area. There's plenty to do at the library, but quite a bit goes on outside of it. Not all of our programming happens here inside the library. A lot of times we'll be out inside the community getting kids outside and exploring with their bodies as well as their minds. So that's also important. I even got to see one of them. Today we did a rocket launch with vinegar and baking soda so that the kids can learn about the chemical reactions that go on with that. And there are plenty of upcoming activities revolving around the theme of outer space and exploration. In July on the 16th on a Tuesday we're going to be having some professors from Ancilla talking about um, the Apollo mission and the history of that. Um, I mean this is an exciting thing you know 50 year anniversary. We have another professor that will be in talking about the constellations and giving us an idea about um, what's out there. And so I'm really looking forward to that. We are going to be bringing a portable planetarium into the library and all week long we'll have it set up and there will be specific times where the kids can come in and enjoy that and learn about the um, stars, the planets. Kids are free to ask questions. We can zoom in on specific planets and make it feel like you're standing on that planet to see kind of what the perspective is. It's going to be a lot of fun. So whether you're a kid or a kid at heart, places like the Plymouth Public Library are a place to learn and have fun doing it. Woo! <laughs>